welcome or welcome back. It's been a week since I returned from Morocco where I stayed for 12 days with only a small amount of belongings and it was refreshing to not worry too much about my outfit choices. I am a big outfit repeater so I see no harm in wearing the same thing multiple times. However, after 12 days, I did start to miss being able to mix and match my clothes and express my creativity through my outfits. So I was glad to be able to access my full wardrobe again, which also has me excited to film some new styling videos. And two days after I got home, I went shopping and I find that I make the best purchases after a break from buying clothes or when I have been wearing the same thing over and over again. So after being without new clothes for a while and re-wearing the same items, I had a better idea of what I like and what I miss. It weren't these two shorts because I always wanted to be a shorts girl. I like the concept of them and I like how some people people style shorts but on me for some reason I don't like it. I don't show my legs a ton and I think that's why I feel uncomfortable. I'm not the biggest person so shorts on me cut me off in a weird way I think. I need very short shorts and that's something I only wear in the height of summer which we don't have a lot so I didn't buy these. Something that actually filled a gap in my wardrobe is this wool skirt from COS. I did think twice about it because I already have a good amount of long skirts. Day to day I wear jeans and trousers most of the time, but when it comes to the weekends I love a long skirt. If they were more practical I would wear them more, but for me a long skirt is telling you I wanted to make an effort. This can change and it of course can be different for everyone. For some people it's makeup, a bag, heels and for me at this point it's a long skirt and lipstick. But I was talking about why this actually filled a gap in my wardrobe and although I have a lot of long skirt, this one is from Wool which makes it the perfect spring piece in Belgium. It's also not too thick like some wool pieces can be and it's not itchy and it falls beautifully in my opinion. I love the slit in the back and the fact that it's the perfect length for me and I also love a piece that doesn't need ironing. The navy blue sweater is also from COS and I bought that one in January and I feel like they were a perfect fit. I think if I wear the skirt and a sweater together they feel like a set and it also feels very dressed up which I like sometimes but when I want to wear it more casually I can just wear it with a t-shirt. This one I recently bought and is from Another Stories. This one is a little bit see-through, so I think I would prefer a thicker t-shirt with this look, but I do like it. It is from Tencel and it falls very casually and it also feels very soft, so I do like it a lot. Another great find are these pleated trousers from COS. They remind me of Isimiyaki and I had my eye on them for a while on the COS website but hesitated to buy them because they are made of polyester, which I usually avoid. However, when I tried them on in stores, they checked off a lot of boxes. They were super comfortable, had a great fit and I loved the color. Plus, they were on sale, which made the decision easier, I have to say. And I actually wore them the day after I bought them, which is a big sign for me that I made a good purchase. If I'm excited to wear a new piece right away and it fits seamlessly into my wardrobe, it means I've made a choice that aligns with what I'm comfortable wearing. And that should be a given, but sometimes I struggle with buying things I like that don't necessarily fit my everyday style or occasionally I buy something that I think is too special and I hesitate to wear it out in fear of damaging it. And if I'm completely honest, this might be a piece that fits that description. I really love it and I would consider it my style, but it's not a piece that I'm used to. I am scared that I will ruin it on a hot day and it will show some discoloration. So I know I will save this one for a special event or moment, 
But nevertheless, I am glad that I bought this because I do like some fun tops. And this top with a jeans and slippers will be pretty good in June or July. I also would have liked it when it would be a bit more cropped. I'm probably going to wear it as it is, but I am thinking of making something similar with some garments that I have so that I can get used to this style without the fear of ruining this piece. And I am also wearing this bracelet, which is also new because I bought it in Morocco. The next piece I'm really looking forward to wearing when the weather warms up. It's still quite cold, so I'll probably have to wait another month. And I don't usually wear many dresses because they can sometimes feel a bit too formal for me. But I do appreciate how effortless a dress can be. You just put it on and you're set to go. And this dress likes that formal part, which I like. It is super comfortable since it's made from cotton and it is, has these thumb holes. And although this is a casual dress, you can easily dress it up. With this leather bag and black boots, I still feel like it has a chic vibe without looking like you're attending an event, which is an impression I like to avoid. I also recently mentioned not being a fan of grey, but I have to say this is the perfect shade of grey for me. If it were a bit lighter, I might not like it as much because it can sometimes wash me out. And another thing I was very happy about is that it's still very loose fitting. I feel like with these kind of dresses, a lot of the time they are a bodycon dress and they fit very narrow. And this is still very loose fitting, which I like. You might mistake this skirt for the first one and on camera they look very similar. But this one is from Another Stories. It's black and the slit is in the front. And in my defense, I do feel like they serve a different purpose in my wardrobe. This skirt is a lot more casual to me and I see myself wearing this one more on a daily basis for work and with sneakers or loafers and so on. Another purchase from Another Stories is this sweater which is actually the reason for all my Another Stories purchases. I ordered it online and when I find something I like, I tend to browse the website for other hidden gems, but this sweater was the instigator. And with clothes, I often have to make compromises, whether it's about the material, the cut, the color and so on. But this piece is perfect to me. It has everything I was looking for, a two-way zipper, a ripped texture and the perfect fit. I've already worn it four times in just one week and if it were socially acceptable, I might have worn it all week long. I don't use the term often because my basic pieces are usually just that, but this weather to me is what they call an elevated basic. This scarf from Cos is another piece I was contemplating buying a couple of months ago and I didn't because I have enough scarves and I would have just bought it for some variation but I did love how different the color and the pattern would be in my collection so when I saw it was on sale I did not hesitate and when buying it I was fully aware I might have to wait until fall to be able to wear it but since it's been between 3 and 12 degrees here I had plenty of occasions. I have the exact same scarf in orange and it felt very indulgent when buying it but now that I have been wearing it and I have been styling it with different items I do feel it adds a lot to an outfit and especially in winter and fall when I wear just coats I feel like this is the perfect variation and the thing that I need to still feel excited about an outfit.
these sneakers were a little bit more unexpected for me to buy they are adidas and i bought them also on the another story site i wasn't planning on buying white sneakers again the last white sneakers i had and still have are the new balance 501s and i got pretty sick of them but i think it's also because i saw them everywhere and i do really like the style of these ones and i think a white sneaker is still fun in spring and summer something i ended up returning is this dress i do like it and i really wanted to like it as well but i realized it is not something i will get a lot of wear out of and i also really wanted to wear it off the shoulder but it is a little bit too tight if i wear it like that and it's just not something i can dress down i don't see me wearing this just on a day out so i have to have an event for this and i do have a lot of dresses that i still have in my closet that i need to wear more so i really didn't need this uh, something i didn't include in this video that i did buy is this green clip i showed it in the beginning but i didn't really film it uh, but full disclosure that is another thing that i bought so this is everything i hope you enjoyed it I really like the pieces that I got. I know it's a lot, but I do feel like I got a lot of pieces that I will wear a ton. And I'm looking forward to making some more styling videos. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.